Hello, Bravs. We're back with more books. Not going to be reading much the next few days, so plus I have since work is fucking me. But I have lots of books that I purchased that must be shown and documented for my sake. And, well, my sake, your sake. You probably could care less. Anyway, I went to that estate sale the other day, and as I showed the Dell Pocket Purse Pocket whatever books, I will now show this half of those, the Globe Minis, Presidential Trivia Quiz, Educational Fun for the Whole Family. Well, they get six, nine of these. I think in all I have about 12 of these and about maybe 40 of the, the Dell books. Presidential trivia quiz. What year is this? I wonder who's the last president. JFK's mentioned. 1980, so what's that, Reagan? The Pocket Encyclopedia of Natural Folk Remedies, which I already showed on the, the other video. But let's see which one. See one for corns. Long before podiatrists were readily available, folk healers suggested these treatments for corns. Cut a, cut a slice of onion, apply it to the corn, keeping it in place with tape or a bandage. Leave it there overnight. Folk healers claimed that the onion would help soften and eventually loosen the corn. They said the treatment should be repeated each night. Stubborn corns, it was claimed, would come off within three weeks. Instead of the onion, apply a slice of fresh lemon in the same way, leaving it on overnight. Some healers claim the lemon works faster than the onion. All right, well, there's no conclusive of this. But there we go. Women's legal rights in marriage. Everything a wife should know about property rights, alimony, inheritance, sexual abuse, divorce, and other matters. Grounds for divorce. Let's see some. Betty T's eyes flashed as she explained her situation to a Los Angeles attorney. I caught that bum of a husband of mine in a motel with a cheap little hussy from the office, she said. I knew for weeks that something was going on, so I followed him after he left work. Hold on. Every time I uh, drink coffee before I read, my nose just runs. It's weird. I knew for weeks that something was going on, so I followed him after he left work with that woman. After they checked in at the motel, I called three of my friends, and they were all witnesses when my husband and his girlfriend checked out. What action do you want me to take? Asked the lawyer. I want a divorce, said Betty. I've got grounds. My three friends and I all saw him leave the motel with that woman. That woman, just like Bill Clinton said. And they were registered as Mr. and Mrs. Has your husband indicated whether he'll contest the action? The attorney asked. No, said Betty. He's not going to fight. Actually, we haven't been getting along very well for quite a long time. He wants to get out of the marriage just as much as I do. The attorney sighed. I'm sorry you both had to go through that mess at the motel, he said, because the fact of the matter is that the state of California passed a law in 1970 that does away with the need for specific grounds for divorce like cruelty or adultery. We have a no-fault law now that means there doesn't have to be a guilty spouse or an innocent one. That's great. 250 quick and easy household tricks. Make your own wash or dishcloth out of old Turkish towels. Just cut to the desired size. Old towels make good dusting cloths, too. Thank you. So nice of you to tell me. 101 income opportunities for housewives. Let's get, get a quick one. Stab, stamp collecting. There we go. <laughs> I guess back in the day, you usually got a lot of letters, so... How to Read Faces Instantly, Pocket Guide to Character Analysis, Ectomorph. The Ectomorph would fit right in one of El Greco's elongated paintings. Is there a short one I can read? Look at this guy. This poor son of a bitch. That's an Ectomorph. Is suspicious of alcohol and resists more, most pleasures to imbibe. Once he does drink, however, he never becomes the life of the party. He sits sadly in this corner, weeping quietly into his martini. 
the introvert to the last. Simple new aerobic exercises. I'm not laughing at the 70s. I'm crying at the fact that we're now part of this this rotten, empty generation. Frequency, two or three training sessions. You may laugh at these exercises, but people were in considerably better shape, minus the fact that they were chain-smoking right in front of their children. 30 foods that melt body fat. Safe way to lose 20 pounds in a hurry. Monday, breakfast, grapefruit, one to two eggs, coffee. Lunch, two eggs, tomatoes, coffee. Dinner, two eggs, combination salad, one piece dry toast. Tuesday, grapefruit, two eggs, coffee, two eggs, two eggs, steak. Oh, you get steak on Tuesday. Grapefruit, two eggs, coffee. Two eggs, spinach, coffee, two eggs, cottage cheese, cabbage. One piece dry toast, cake, grapefruit, two eggs, two eggs, two eggs, fish, grapefruit, two eggs. Grapefruit, two eggs, fruit salad, nothing else. Large portion steak. Celery, cucumber, tomatoes, grapefruit, cold chicken. Why you gotta have cold chicken? Cold chicken boosts that metabolism. Anyways, now to, well, I guess I should do the the other publications I picked up at the estate sale. The lady, his name was, maybe it will be in here. Get out old Hungry Howies. Back before they became a shit, ver- even shittier version of Little Caesars. What is this? The Gospel and the Stars. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. It's pretty cool, buddy. Pretty cool. Gemini, his union with his bride, speaks of Christ's fellowship with his people in his eternal kingdom. Taurus, his glorious coming, foretells that Christ will come in judgment like a rampaging bull upon the sinful world. Please do. Somebody. Horoscopes in the Christian, Robert A. Morey. I do plan to read this book on this channel, even though I don't believe in horoscopes and I'm not a Christian. J. Allen Hynek. Studied the birth dates of scientists, included in the American Men of Science. This is this argument number two. Oh. All right, this lady, June Lowe, who is, I believe, featured in the back of the book. Never mind my stomach growling. I don't know if it shows her or not. She put out a a LP vinyl record that I also have. There she is right there. June Lowe. She was a free press, Detroit free press newspaper columnist, I believe. I could be wrong. Anyway, she put out a couple of these little books. Astrological Awareness and Astrological, which I... She was apparently on WCXI country sta- station back in the day. Back when AM music used to come on. June Low, WCXI astrologer. To Marge with love, June Low. A bumper sticker I could probably sell for 10 bucks itself I guess this really isn't a book But what's this The Mother Earth News Household Hints Almanac yeah, I guess this is kind of like a That's pretty cool Mother's Calendar Tells you when the moon is up. Bonus calendar. Seasons of Earth and Sky.
Wayne, Michigan Centennial. I actually have uh, probably at least two or three copies of this. Olive Chubb, daughter of Glowed Chubb. Need to look through this. Need to look through this. I actually live near this guy's. Where is he? Where is Bradshaw's house? That's where it just showed him. Yeah, Brad Bradshaw Hodkinson. Hodgkinson. The house was built in 1890. I live very close to this guy's house. I walk past it. It's basically an apartment building now, and nobody knows whose house it was. Nobody really cares. <laughs> I care. I care, bruv. Astrology, Horoscope, and Dreams, the complete book of by Explored Sun, Sun Signs, Dreams, Numerology, and many other astrological indicators. The Astrograph Letter, Bernice Ossel. If you watched my video on uh, the comics, she was featured. Tevi Stone, Scorpio. Ticket Marge was a Scorpio. Maybe she wasn't. She got them all, I guess. What else is in here? June Low worksheets. Marge, Joe, Diane. She worked them out for all of them. Joe was born in 33. Marge was born in 34. June 30th. Joe must have been the Scorpio. I think the Scorpio's October. Table of Phases of the Moon for 1983. Organic Gardening. And this is the house I got it from. That's why I grabbed this little piece. And then there's just this. The fingers. Sighting stuff, bruv. And then the books I got from the thrift store. Oh, wait, there's one more. Also got Linda Goodman Sun Signs, which is probably a $10 book. And I probably will sell because I have multiple copies now. Not that that's ever stopped me. Oh, what's this? We got something in the middle. I always like to find some goodies in the middle. Haircut to grow. Moon in Pisces. What? Haircut to not grow. To lose weight. Moon in Virgo. Go on diet. <laughs> Pretty damn simple there. Go on a diet. Lose some weight. God damn it. There's Linda. She's a good man. On to the thrift store books. Adventures in Myth and Mystical Enchantment, The Fantastic Imagination, an anthology of high fantasy. Tolkien's Lewis, Beagle, Le Guin. Who else do I recognize here? Not many, since I'm not a sci-fi fan. But the one blemish on this is the ISBN has been removed because somebody put a sticker on there and it was matted off. Book's in great shape, though. Probably not worth a buck twenty nine that was paid, but such is life. Ditto with this one, Witchwood. In a village steeped in superstition, a beautiful woman vies with unknown enemies for hidden treasure. A spellbinding tale of romantic suspense from Nicole St. John. Too good to pass up. Plus it has this. Cindy Clardy, a book plate from the books of Golden Wings by Boris Vi Vi. Vi oh. All right, that's all, bros. Goodbye.